All right, now I got me my hot peppers in there with my onions and garlic. And if we take a look here, our wonderful water, sugar, and habanero peppers are boiling. We're going to take one 12 ounce package of whole fresh cranberries. And all we're going to do is dump them in there. Cranberry sauce is so easy to make, you will not believe it. You don't have to go for that junk in the can. Yes, sirree. Oop, get out of there, cranberry. Now, we're going to let that come to a boil. When that comes to a boil, we're going to lower the temperature and let it boil gently for 10 minutes. And then I'll tell you what we'll do next. So, back to our stuffing. I got me one cup of cashews. And I'm going to put them in my food processor and give them a chop. You can use almonds, walnuts, pecans, chestnuts, any kind of roasted nuts that you want to chop up. Of course, chop them. Don't break them up into itsy bitsy pieces. Take a look here. We got our nice chopped up cashews. They go right in that stuffing mix. Mm -mm -mm. Now, you got to remember when you stuff a bird with this hot stuff, it's going to permeate some heat into that turkey or chicken or whatever you're stuffing. So if you got lots of little rug rats in the house and those little guys don't want their hot peppers, you set this up as a side stuffing and you make it normal so the little people don't get fire tongue. Now, that's just the beginning of what we're going to do with our stuffing. Yes, siree. We are going to add some wonderful spices. First, let's start with parsley. Don't underestimate this wonderful green, fresh flavorful parsley. I've got two tablespoons of dried parsley. Get that in there. Now you do not want to burn these onions. Let me repeat that. You do not want to burn them. You want to get them nice and transparent. Now, let's pull out some salt. We're going to put in one teaspoon of salt. Now, you know a little bit about the history of Thanksgiving. You know a little bit about cooking with fire. And now you're going to know a little bit more about stuffing. One of the things you got to remember when you stuff a turkey is just like when you stuff yourself. You don't sit down at the table with your tightest pair of jeans on before you eat that big dinner now, do you, John? Nope. What do you do? You leave a little extra room. So you make this stuffing, you got to give it room to expand. Now, stuffing basically is a bread kind of filling with lots of seasoning and spices to give it some flavor. And I want to talk about the kind of bread I'm using. Mm -mm, get a couple more of those nuts in there. Now, what I got here is eight ounces by weight of dry commercial stuffing. It's unseasoned. You can use, this is also four cups by measure. So if you got some nice old stale bread that's not moldy, or if you want to use a variety of different breads, because this is just plain white bread. You know, M-O-R, middle of the road, white bread. Now, this is not spiced. If you use the spice variety, you're going to get it all mixed up. What we're going to do, we're going to take a look here. We're going to see that those onions are starting to get tender. And we're going to take a look over here, and we'll see that we're starting to boil on our wonderful cranberry sauce. Be very careful. Let that boil gently, and don't break up that habanero pepper. Now, I'm going to reach out a frame here, and I'm going to grab me one cup of boiling water. Yes, this is boiling water, a little bit extra for good measure. And I'm going to add that to our stuffing. And what I'm going to do is take some paprika. This is going to add a wonderful color. I'm going to prepare this as a side dish, because if I stick it in the bird, you ain't going to see how beautiful it's going to roast up. Now, you want to have your oven, and I got my magic oven prepared, the 350 degrees. i got to get my paprika out of here. Now, paprika is not hot. It's just a beautiful, dried, ground red pepper. It's got a delicious, mellow flavor, and it adds an outrageous color. We're going to get this nicely, nicely stirred up here, and we're going to take our breadcrumbs, and we're going to add our breadcrumbs. Now, the big trick to this is to toss this up. And when I do this at home, I use a pot a lot different than this. Yes, sirree, Bob. I use a giant, big old pasta pot. But you couldn't see in the bottom of that if I did this here. So it's real important 
get another little ladle out here and we'll just toss this up, get this all mixed together. Take a look. If you can you smell that, John? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm, boy. When I was a little one growing up, one of my favorite parts of the dinner was the stuffing. Yes, sir, Bob. And I love that crispy, delicious part right out there, right at the neck, stuffed out there, and it was just golden brown and delicious. Now, we're going to get this all thoroughly mixed up, and what we're going to do is we're going to take ourselves a pie pan, yes, and we're going to stuff a pie pan. That's right. Makes a nice side dish stuffing. So all you want to do after you got it thoroughly mixed up so that you've soaked in it. Oh boy, I'm stuffing the table, I'm stuffing the pan, I'm stuffing the floor. You get this in here. This is nice and hot. Just pat it down into a nice shape. Put this in a 350 degree oven and before you put it in the oven, what you're going to want to do is take a little melted butter and you're going to want to just brush around it. This will ensure that it gets a nice golden brown. So I'm going to stick this down in my magic oven. When we come back, I'm going to show you another wonderful little side dish. My own stuffed acorn squash. All right. 